Hi, this is Karen, and I'm here to do 45 minutes of yoga with you. It's a Skype class that I videoed, so just keep in mind when I'm facing the camera, uh, either do what you hear me say or do what you see me doing. Um, we're going to do both sides with everything. You're going to be nice and balanced and even and relaxed at the end. Working on good posture, long, lean muscles, strength, flexibility, balance, and breathing, all in one. So um, bring yourself here to the present moment. Uh, put everything that you've done before the class to the side. Everything that you're worried about after the class. Everything will be there at the end. Try to just bring yourself here. Focus on what you're doing. Make this about you. Don't make this about comparing yourself to anybody else. Uh, you're at home doing this. So you have the luxury, the beauty of not uh, comparing yourself to anybody. Really do what's best for you. Take the break when you need to, okay? We are gonna be using a yoga strap towards the end. Um, I'm using a karate belt, a necktie would also work, a piece of rope, anything like that, okay? So let's breathe, stretch, relax. Here we go. Guys, let's start with that chin in your chest. Let's put our shoulder blades in our imaginary back pockets. Take some deep breaths in and out. Welcome to your Friday yoga. Let's gently take one ear to one shoulder, stretching the side of your neck. Good, chin down, slowly switch. Chin in our chest. Let's go ahead and walk those fingertips down our legs. So keep your abdominals strong, hold on to those elbows and just gently rock your body from side to side. So with each exhale, just feel like your head's heavier towards the ground. You can start to straighten those legs a little more when you're ready. And let's just bring ourselves to this present moment. Let go of the distractions of either this morning or later on today and just allow yourself to enjoy these moments that we've got here during yoga. So let's bring our hands to that right leg, nose towards that right knee gently. And let's reach that right arm up, gently twist. Think about rolling the right shoulder open, bring that left shoulder a little closer to the ground. Exhale, we're gonna make our way over to the left. Nose towards your left knee. Deep breaths. Exhale, bring that left arm up, gently twist. Good, let's untwist. And go ahead and walk those feet closer together. Let's glance up, lift the tailbone and lunge back one foot and then the other. You can come to your knees or your toes, just an upper push-up position. Let's hug our sides as we come down. And let's come to up dog. So gently open up that chest, lifting the head. You wanna make sure you're not letting the head and chest sink between the shoulders. And let's go ahead and bring those knees apart. Big toes together, sit back on those heels as you breathe. Just allow the middle of that chest to sink between your shoulders. Exhale, let's tuck those toes under and come to down dog. Let's spread those fingertips apart, shift your weight back, relax those feet, deep cleansing breaths. Lifting those hips up. Let's go ahead and walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Glancing up, lifting the tailbone, reverse swan dive up, standing back bone. Good, let's bring that right arm down and keep those feet together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right fingertips walk down the leg. Let's spread between the left side of the rib cage and the hip bone. For half moon, just gently pull that left arm straight, rest your head to the right. And let's shift our weight to that left leg. 
pushing that foot into the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, same side. Good. Let's come to our standing back bend at the front of the mat. And let's pass our fingertips. Come on down. Let's glance up, lift the tailbone, lunge back one foot, and then the other with the wrists below the shoulders, abs lifted up. Let's hug the sides as you come down. Nice up dog, opening the chest, lifting that head. Feel free to do a push up and then down dog. Push ups always optional. Take it or leave it. Let's shift some weight out of the heel of our hand, more towards your knuckles, lifting those hips and allowing the head to sink between your shoulders. Exhale, let's reach our right toes up to the sky. Walk those hands back, nose towards that left knee. Good, let's gently swing that right leg through. Right knee's right above the ankle. Let's float that chest up. Tuck the pelvis under into our crescent lunge. And look past your fingertips, swing through. Inhale up. Exhale, let's take your left foot a little farther back, lowering the left knee and really leaning back. Good, left knee comes down to the mat. Hands on that right thigh. Let's take that left quadricep, sink it forward. Straighten the arms, chin in your chest and shoulders down as you breathe. Good, exhale, that left forearm comes to the outside of that right thigh. Look over your right shoulder with your right hand at your low back. Bend that right knee nice and deep and really sink forward. You wanna make sure that that right knee stays above the ankle. So feeling that nice left quadricep and hip flexor stretch. Exhale, we're gonna untwist. Bring that right knee to the mat. And let's do a nice cat stretch. Glancing up. Good, I want you to come to your plank. Wrists below those shoulders. Abs lifted up. Come on down. We don't want the hips to lead. We want the middle of the chest to lead. Nice up dog, open chest. Feel free to do a push up if you want. And down dog. As we breathe, let's take turns bending one knee and then the other. Stretching those calves. Now let's roll to our right side plank with your right wrist directly under the shoulder. Modification is that right knee on the mat, or you can straighten both legs. That's totally up to you. Let's roll your left hip and shoulder open and not collapse into that right shoulder. Deep breaths. Rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract as we come back to plank. Abs lifted up, knees down when you need to. Hug the sides, come on down. Nice up dog. Push up if you choose and down dog. Keep breathing, I want you to connect to that breath. Feel that rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract. Relax your quadriceps and your knees. Good, exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Glance up and reverse swan dive up, standing back bend. Good, that left arm comes down. We're gonna keep our feet together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left fingertips walk down the leg. Let's reach between the right side of the rib cage and the hip bone. Gently pulling the arm straight, rest your head. Press that right foot down into the mat. Inhale. Exhale a little bit deeper. Good, front of your mat. Standing back bend. 
good. Look past those fingertips. Come on down. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lunge back one foot, and then the other. Abs are strong. Let's hug the sides. Come on down. Up dog. And push up if you choose, and then down dog. Big deep breaths in and out, head and chest sink, hips lift up, relax your feet. End of your exhale, let's reach those left toes up. Walk our hands back a little bit. Nose towards your right knee, left toes reach. Gently swing through. So that left knee is right above the ankle. Let's float the chest up. Tucking the pelvis under, leaning back, crescent lunge. Look past your fingertips and swing through. Inhale up. Exhale, that right foot goes back a little bit. Really lean it back. Let's bring our right knee down to the mat. And let's sink forward onto that right hip flexor. You want the left knee to stay above the ankle. Straighten your arms, chin in your chest, shoulders down. Sink forward as you breathe. Let's take that right forearm on the outside of your thigh. Look over your left shoulder, slide the left hand to your low back. Now everybody bend that left knee deep, sinking forward onto that right quadricep and hip flexor. Deep breaths. One more deep breath in and out. Dissolving tension on your exhale. And let's untwist. Bring that left knee to the mat and do a nice cat stretch. Glancing forward. Good, let's go ahead and come back to your plank. Wrists below the shoulders, really keep your abs strong as you come down slow. Up dog. Push up if you choose, down dog. As soon as you come into down dog, shift some weight out of the heel of the hand a little bit more towards the knuckles. Lift those hips and really relax your feet. Enjoy the stretch from your glutes down to your ankles as you roll to left side plank. So left knee could be down or you could take both legs straight, but you want the wrist directly below the shoulder. Roll that right shoulder open, deep cleansing breaths. See if you can exhale completely each and every time. And exhale, let's slowly come back to plank. Keep those abs strong, hug the sides as you come down. Nice up dog. Push up if you want and down dog. Deep breaths in and out, head and chest sinking, feet are relaxed. Good, end of the exhale, let's take those right toes up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back, nose towards that left knee, really reach. Gently swing through. So that right knee is right above the ankle. Let's take the right foot and walk it a little bit to the right, getting ready for prayer twist. Left elbow on the outside of your thigh, palms pressed together. Let's make sure we're not shrugging our shoulders. Right elbow is pointing up. And that left knee could come down to the ground if you need a modification. So working on our strength, our flexibility, and our balance all at the same time. End of your next exhale, let's take one hand down and then the other. Hands on the inside of the foot. Walk the foot a little further right and see if you can keep your left knee off the mat. Any time you need to take it down is fine. If you can start bending your elbows, do. And let's come down to the forearms. If you want, remember staying on those palms is fine. You want that right foot to stay flat on the mat, so walk it right if you need to. Chin in your chest, deep breath. 
As you exhale now, let's take the left knee to the mat. Adjust yourself so you're evenly distributed onto right and left forearm on your weight. And take two deep breaths here in and out. Good. At the end of that exhale, let's come back to our palms. Let's bring that right knee to the mat. Let's allow those hips to shake just a little bit. And then with right wrist directly under the shoulder, let's take that right leg out to the back. Abs are lifted up, left arm reaches nice and long. If you want to, right foot in the air, left hand reaches around to grab it. And we're gonna take that right leg towards the ceiling as we lift out of our right shoulder and take the top of your right foot, press it away from you. Deep cleansing breaths. Inhale, really lift. Exhale, let's extend out and reach. And hand and knee down. Let's take the hips right and bring your right hand on top of the left. Deep breath. Good, let's untwist. Another nice cat stretch. Glancing up. Good, and let's come to your plank. That upper push-up position. With wrists below your shoulders, abs are strong, hug the sides. Nice up dog. Push up if you want and down dog. Deep breaths in and out. Let's shift the weight out of the heel of the hand more towards your knuckles. Lift those hips. Relax your feet. From your glutes to your ankles, enjoying that stretch. And let's take our left toes up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back a little bit. Nose towards that right knee, left toes reach. Let's gently swing through. Left knee is right above the ankle. Let's walk that left foot over to the left, getting ready for prayer twist. So right elbow on the outside of that thigh, palms pressed together, left elbow up, not shrugging those shoulders, taking your deep breaths in and out. Nice calm face, deep cleansing breath. At the end of that next exhale, let's go ahead and take one hand down and then the other hands on the inside of your foot and see if you can walk that left foot a little farther left. Keep the knee above the ankle. Start to bend the elbows. If you can keep your right knee off the mat for a few more breaths, do. When you need to take it down, feel free to do that. So your head is hanging heavy towards the ground. Deep breaths in and out of those hips. End of your next exhale, right knee comes to the mat. Relax the tightness in your hips and try to keep your weight evenly distributed. End of your exhale, let's come back to those palms. Let's bring that left knee to the mat. And let those hips shake side to side a little bit. And let's take your left wrist directly under the shoulder with your left leg out behind you. Abs are lifted up, right arm reaches. Left foot in the air if you want to. Right hand reaches around to grab it. Let's take that left foot up to the ceiling, lift out of your left shoulder. Press the top of the foot away from you, deep breaths. Inhale, really lift. Exhale, let's extend out, reach long. And hand and knee down. Hips left, left hand on top of the right.
Good, let's untwist. Nice cat stretch. Glance to the ceiling. Good, let's come to our plank. Abs lifted up, hug those sides, come on down. Up dog. Feel free to do that push up and then down dog. Feel that rib cage and diaphragm expand on your inhale, deflate on your exhale that helps you to relax your hamstrings and your calves. And let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. And now let's keep those fingertips down on the ground and let's take our right toes up to the ceiling. Now I want you to take some weight out of your fingertips. Just balance, okay? Take your left arm out to the side just to practice a little balance. And then your left hand comes a little bit to the left of the foot. You're gonna roll your right hip open and your right arm either hangs down or it can reach up. But find a spot you're staring at for balance on the ground and keep rolling this right hip open and not a lot of weight in those left fingertips. Deep breaths. Good, slowly bring that hand down. And let's bring those feet together. Let's cross our forearms, hold our opposite calf, chin in the chest. Start to straighten those legs, nose toward your knees. Deep breaths. Release. Hands to the mat, glance up, lift your tailbone, reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. Good, let's open it up. And let's open those feet up the long way on the mat. Okay, bend your knees a little bit, abs are strong. Let's go ahead and bring those hands down. Separate those feet as far as you would like. Sink your head down, relax all the muscles in the inner thighs and the hamstrings. Let's clasp those fingertips at our low back. Gently pull the arms straight and let them wrap around. Legs are as straight as you feel comfortable. On your exhale, let's release the fingers. Let's face your fingertips away from you and behind you, walking those hands back. Your feet can always slide a little farther apart if you want. Bending the elbows, sinking that head down. Releasing a little bit more tension every single exhale. And now let's walk those hands a little farther in front of us. Bend your elbows, sink the elbows towards the mat, head down and breathe. Dissolve the tightness in the hamstrings and those inner thighs. Good, let's go ahead and walk those hands up to the front of the mat. It doesn't matter what leg's in front. We're gonna go ahead and bring that foot back. Abs are strong, come on down nice and slow. Up dog. Push up is an option, down dog. Inhale, lift the hips, let the head and chest sink. And walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Now let's keep those fingertips on the ground and this time extend the left leg behind you. Engage your abdominals and let's take some weight out of your fingertips and extend your right arm out to the side briefly. And on the exhale, the right hand's a little bit to the right of the foot. Roll your left hip open. Your left arm can stay hanging down. The left arm can come up. It's up to you. 
Keep rolling this left hip open, eyes on a focal point. Deep breaths in and out. On your exhale, let's take that hand down. Let's lunge onto that back foot and take that Right foot back, we're in our plank, abs are strong, come on down. Up dog. Push up if you want, and down dog. Connect back to your breath. Let go of any negativity that sneaks in there, like, oh, I should have been able to do that, or anything like that. Let's go ahead and take your right toes up to the ceiling. Walk our hands back a little bit, nose towards that left knee. Now let that right leg hang to the left. Feel that nice opening through the right side of the rib cage and that right hip. Continue to let it hang to the left. And then exhale for pigeon, slide that right knee between your hands. Let's tuck those left toes under and walk that left leg back. Open up your chest. Your right foot can walk towards your left hand as long as it doesn't make you roll to your right. Let's walk the hands out to the middle of the mat. Rest your forehead somewhere, so it could be on your fists. Deep breath into the tightness around that right hip joint. Exhale, allow that to dissolve. And let's glance to your right, resting on the left side of the face. And if you want to, that right hand slides to the low back. Shoulders relax and breathe. As you exhale, you can untwist and face the front of the mat and take those left fingertips a little farther away to roll that left hip bone back towards the mat. Exhale, walk it back. Let's open the chest. Slide that right knee underneath you. And we're gonna have a seat and we're gonna bring that right leg either in front of you or on top of the left. Okay, you decide how those hips are feeling today. Chin in your chest, shoulders down, let's sit up as tall as we can. And then let's place the hands on the ground in front of us, start to walk yourself out. Bend your elbows, deep breath into those hips. Exhale, release that tightness as your chest sinks down. Winding around to your left, bringing that right hand on top so your knee and your toes should be between your arms. Bend those elbows. Now left hand on top as you reach your right arm up, don't let this right knee lift, all right? Let's bend your left elbow and let that right arm droop over the ear. And let's bring those hands down. We're gonna bring that right foot towards the left hip flexor. You can keep it here as well. You don't have to pull it closer in. So see if you can take your right foot towards that hip flexor. And let's sit up nice and tall. Left hand comes to your right knee. Shoulders down, head up. Your right hand, the back of it, comes to your low back. Take this left hand, gently press on the knee as you're gently pulling that head up. And see if these right fingertips can come close to your heel. Good, exhale, we're gonna untwist. Shoulders down, I want you to come into boat pose. So shoulders relax, abs are strong. Let's reach those arms up. Feel free to have one leg up or both. 
lifting those toes up towards the ceiling as long as this is okay for the back. Take a couple breaths. And exhale, let's bring those feet together. Let's pull those heels towards your body. Hold on around your toes, shoulders down, head up. Exhale, nose towards your toes, relax those knees apart. Good, come on up. And you're gonna come to your last plank of today. So wrists below your shoulders, abs are lifted up. Come on down nice and slow. Nice up dog. Push up if you want to and down dog. And you're welcome to start taking turns, bending one knee and then the other. And now let's take our left toes up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back a little bit. Bend your left knee and allow that left leg to hang to the right. Opening up that right hip, stretching all the way down the left side of the rib cage. Deep breaths. Good, on your exhale, let's slide that left knee between your hands for pigeon. Let's tuck your right toes under, walk that leg back. Bring that left foot closer to the right hand if you want to, as long as it's not gonna make you roll left. And let's go ahead and walk our hands down the middle of the mat. Rest in your forehead and breathe. Deep breath into the tightness around that left hip joint. Exhale, let's glance to the left, resting on the right side of the face. Sliding the left hand to your low back is an option. Relax your shoulders, wiggle those fingers and breathe. Try to breathe that Inhale right into where you're feeling that tightness the most. And exhale, let it dissolve. Slowly untwist. Let's go ahead and glance forward. Let's take our right fingertips a little farther forehead down and breathe. Exhale, slowly come on back, open up the chest, and let's slide that left knee underneath you. Have a seat. And now you're gonna take that left leg, either in front or on top of the right leg, it's up to you. Shoulders down, let's sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, look past those fingertips, palms down. Start to bend those elbows, releasing that tightness in your hips. Really exhale completely and try to let it go. Winding around to your right. Left hand's gonna come on top so this Right knee and left foot should be between your arms. Bend your elbows and breathe. Good, let's take this left arm, reach nice and long, walk your right fingertips away. Bend that right elbow and allow that left arm to hang over that ear. Good, we're gonna bring the arms down. And this uh, left heel is gonna to come towards the right hip flexor. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, right hand comes to the left knee. And with shoulders down, look behind you and twist. The back of your left hand comes to your low back. Inch it towards those left toes. Or just keep it, keep it at your low back. Deep breath. 
head pulls up, deep breath in. Exhale, let's untwist. And let's go ahead and come to your hands and knees and bring those knees apart, big toes together. Look up to your right and rotate your wrist. And then right hand, palm up underneath the left, sit back on your heels, rest on the right side of the face. And let's take those left fingertips, inch them to the front of the mat. And then back to your left hand at your low back, allow those shoulders just to flop. Fingers wiggle, deep breaths in and out. Slowly untwist. Same thing to the other side. Let's look up to your left, rotate the wrist. And left hand palm up underneath the right. Rest on the left side of the face. See if you can sit back towards your heels. Walk your right fingertips away. And then back of that right hand at the low back. Really let your shoulders just relax. Untwisting slowly. Up on those hands and knees, nice cat stretch. Glancing to the ceiling. Have a seat at the front of the mat. And let's make sure that that yoga strap is next to us so we can grab it when we need it when we're laying down. So I want you to come into your boat. So let's lift one or both legs up into that boat. Keeping those abs strong, shoulders relaxed. Feel free to put a foot on the mat when you need to. Inhale, lifting those toes up. Slowly come on back, hug the knees into your chest, shoulders down, glance in one direction to stretch your neck, and switch. Good, straight arms between your knees, hold on to the ankles or the feet, gently pull the knees down towards the sides of the rib cage. Press the knees out a little bit and just rock side to side, happy baby. On your exhale, either stay here or your first two fingers, grab the big toes, press those heels away from you, allow those legs to relax out. Pressing those knees away. Good release, let's take that left leg down and place the right leg, right foot in your yoga strap. Holding on to the strap with your right hand, let's take it out to the right and look to your left. Now let's keep that left hip rolled down to the mat. Gently pull with your right hand as you breathe. On your exhale, let's take that right leg up. Let's move the strap towards your heel, relax your foot. Gently pull it in as you push the right knee away. Back away and let's move that strap towards the ball of your foot. As you get a nice flex, gently pulling it in. Feel free to roll that foot out or in. Deepen that right calf stretch if you can. Release, let's hold the strap with your left hand. Take it across the body as you look to your right. Gently pull. Stretching straight down that right IT band. Deep breaths. Slowly, let's bring that right leg up. Let's place both feet in that strap and gently pull. And as you release, let's take the right leg down, left hand holding the strap, take it out to the left as you glance to the right. So let's keep that right hip rolled down to the mat, 
Gently pull with your left hand as you breathe. On that exhale, let's bring that left leg up to the ceiling. Strap to the heel, relax the foot, gently pull it in. Pressing that left knee away from you. Deep breaths. Exhale, it's back away, moving the strap towards the ball of your foot. Get that nice flex. Feel free to roll it out or in by gentle, gently pulling on one side. And let's hold that strap with your right hand. Allow that leg to come across the body as you glance left. Gently pull and breathe. Use your exhale to deepen that stretch as you slowly release when you're ready. Place that strap down and let's lengthen our body from fingertips to toes. And then slide those arms down towards your sides. Rest them palms up with your eyes closed. Feet flop out. You are in total resting pose. So that being said, do you end up needing to shift to the side or bend your knees or anything you need to do to stay comfortable for the next few minutes, feel free to do that. So as you continue to breathe in and out through your nose and allowing the rib cage and diaphragm to expand on your inhale and deflate on your exhale. Let's use our breath to try to let go of anything negative that we don't want to take with us for the rest of our day. Pulling all your breath to the very top of the head. Exhale, allow that breath to roll across your forehead, flowing across your temples and rolling across the back of the head. across your eyes, nose, and cheekbones, flowing across the back of your jaw, and straight down the sides and back of your neck. Feel the breath flow across your shoulders and open up your chest. Relax across your upper back. The breath rolls down your arms, rounding your elbows, flowing across your forearms to your wrists, palms and the top of your hand, between your fingers and all the way to your fingertips. Exhale, move the fingers gently, allowing tension and stress to leave the body through your fingertips. Feeling a calm and a peace. As the exhale rolls across your rib cage, one rib at a time. Feel the breath flow from the middle of your back down to the small of your back. Across your waist and your abdominals. Deep breath in. Exhale, allow those hips and glutes just to relax. Quadriceps and hamstrings release. Knees, shins and calves. Ankles, then feel that breath roll across the bottom of your foot and flow across the top of your foot between your toes, all the way to your toe tips. Exhale, moving those toes gently, letting tension and stress leave the body through your toe tips. Feeling calm and relaxed. 
rejuvenated and ready for your day. Be nice to ourselves coming out of this position slowly. So bending one knee and placing that foot on the mat. And placing the other foot on the mat when you're ready. Slowly opening those eyes and as you're ready, just roll onto one side so your bottom arm is your pillow. Gently pressing yourself up to a nice sitting position. Nice and tall, we're gonna breathe in, reaching the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna bring the hands to the heart. Surrender everything in our head to our heart. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.